The procedure of central line insertion for adult patients. A central venous catheter is an intravascular catheter that terminates in one of the large veins close to the heart and is used for acute infusion of large volumes of fluid, long-term infusion, withdrawal of blood, or hemodynamic monitoring. A central line-associated bloodstream infection is a serious, life-threatening infection that occurs when microorganisms enter the bloodstream through the central line. A central line-associated bloodstream infection has a significant impact on cost, morbidity and mortality, yet these infections are preventable through proper insertion techniques and management of the central line. Equipment required for central line insertion. Content of Central Line Insertion Kit Pre-Procedure When there is indication for central line insertion check patient identification. Explain the procedure and risks to the patient or family and take the consent. Keep in mind to follow components of central line insertion bundles. Assess the proper access site for central line insertion and avoid femoral site, subclavian site is recommended of, central line insertion. Place the patient in the required position to match the selected access. Inspection of the site of insertion to rule out any local site infection. Use alcohol-based hand rub plus clean gloves, non-sterile technique, and perform ultrasound scan to define anatomy and check patency of the vessel. A central line insertion checklist is completed by a trained observer to ensure that all steps have been completed without contamination. Observer is trained in how to observe and assist with the procedure. After disinfectant trolley with approved surface disinfectant, wear head cap and face mask. Perform hand hygiene by washing hands with antimicrobial soap and water. Using absorbent towel, wear surgical gown with the help of the nurse's assistant and wear gloves. Set up sterile trolley and make sure all required items are prepared. Skin preparation. Do back and forth motion by using 2% chlorhexidine gluconate with 70% isopropyl alcohol stick for at least 30 seconds. Allow it to dry completely before puncturing site. Drape patient from head to toe using sterile technique. Apply sterile cover to the ultrasound probe with sterile gel to confirm anatomy. After flush all lumens of the line clamp all lumens except the Seldinger port. Patient is ready for central line insertion and try to use minimum number of lumens. After the central line inserted. Once the central line is in place. Aspirate and flush all lumens and reclamp and apply disinfected lumen caps. Apply the stabilization device. Use chlorhexidine impregnated dressings. Put the needleless connectors on all open connections. Cover needleless connectors with disinfecting antimicrobial caps. Apply the information label over the dressing. After doffing the personal protection equipment make sure all contaminated items are discarded as per Ministry of Health policy. Run a blood gas to ensure a venous sample no need. Chest X-ray to confirm placement and to check for pneumothorax no need. Document central line insertion bundles.